17 years of age but remained unflustered when runs were hard to come by against the spinners, took the game deep before unleashing his strokes. Well, that was Riyan Parag yesterday. Make note of that name. You might get to hear that quite often in the future. Hello and welcome to IPL Show on DD Sports. I'm Megha and joining me in studio is sports commentator Munish Shirley and in the Sun Times national sports editor Mr. Somitra Bose. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. And first up, we have the match review. Another game involving Rajasthan Royals going into the final over. This time around though, Rajasthan Royals crossing the finishing line. What a clash it turned out to be. There have been plenty of cliffhangers this IPL. Kolkata Knight Riders managing to pose 175 for 6. Curtsy Dinesh Karthik not leading from the front. In response though, Rajasthan Royals managing to win by 3 wickets. Riyan Paraki baat ki jai. Itne young hai. अनुभव बहुत ज़्यादा नहीं है, लेकिन temperamentally कितने sound? जी हाँ, मेरे ख्याल से एक north east के जितने भी budding cricketers हैं, उनके लिए great news है रियान पराग की। गुवाहाटी जैसे town से आकर ऐसा impact डालना और वो भी you know Calcutta was not Kolkata, in fact was not very far from Guwahati, but then जो knock उन्होंने खेली वो गुंज Guwahati में भी सुनाई दे रही थी। He's got a cricketing background, dad उनके club cricket खेलते थे धोनी के अगेंस्ट वो नॉर्थन रेलवेज में खेले हैं जब इन्होंने डेब्यू किया तो धोनी विकेट के पीछे खड़े हुए थे तो ही इस गॉड दैट टेम्परामेंट टू स्टे यू नो स्टे अमंग्स दी दी लेजेंड्स अमंग्स दी टॉप प्लेयर्स एंड यू नीड नर्व्स टू स्टैंड देयर फर्स्ट बिफोर यू हिट द and in fact, Jofra Archer okay. and Riyan Parag, 3.3 overs, both of them added 33 runs. Mm. And that was the turning point. Nerves ki baat kare, Jofra Archer ki performance, commendable all-round performance, a bowling mein bhi kaafi santilit rahe rakha, aur uske baad batting mein bhi wapas aake. Yeah, very, very, very strange. The fact that you, you don't expect uh, Jofra Archer to win your match. I mean, he's a bowler. He's primarily a bowler. But then, you know, he took his chance and as strong as bat. And uh, after the match, he was asked, uh, Aapko He said, my job was to put bat to ball. So T20 cricket is all about bat to ball. I mean, it, the ball might go anywhere. I mean, it might go behind you, it might the go edges. behind slips. It can be very edgy, but it all matters are the runs. And uh, I would say that uh, Rajasthan are also not deserving winners. They were lucky winners. I might be digressing a bit, but do England selectors watch the IPL? Yeah, they are, in fact. And uh, Jofra Archer is one name. They are watching it very carefully. And even the commentators were discussing, they were talking that they would take them to the World Cup. Now, look, all-round performance, if in any field, in any format, if a player gets a player, beat Kapil Dev in test matches, one day, you can see it. So, the era that is going on, all-rounders, and the tradition that is going on, there will be no good all-rounder in a team. Ke andar behtar Gee. And moving on now to the batsman of the match, the batsman who really changed the course of the match yesterday. Let's have a look at that and we find that it is none other than Parag. Well, 47 runs, strike rate of 151. At one point, he was around 21 runs from 20 deliveries. But how he stepped up from there on speaks volumes about what this young man is capable of. Absolutely. In fact, he's, he took his chances. He survived a life. If he'd have been out before, but that, that's Very all cricket game. is all about that. Magad, the best thing is that, you know, he stood his ground after being hit on the helmet yeah. by Andre Russell. So that talks about, as Muni said, that you, you need your temperament, but he was technically very good. He's in the same level as probably Prithvi Shah and Shubman So he's, a, he's an India under-19 player and an Assamese boy. The good thing is that he's got the technique. The shots he played were totally copybook. It wasn't that, you know, edgy shots going through his legs or going past back. Back, but point, nothing like that. He, he drove along the carpet, he got his foes along the carpet, and he took his chances. The, the way he played his strokes actually speaks volumes of a man. So you wouldn't see Prithvi Shah play a loose shot. Yeah. He will get out to a bad shot, but he, whatever runs he scores, he always gets it through the proper strokes. Parag is exactly of that mold. You wanted to add something? Yeah, uh, if we discuss about the match yesterday, it was the experienced players who let the teams down, be it yeah. Kolkata or be it Rajasthan. It was uh, the group of youngsters. Mm -hmm. And if you talk about Parag, Rishabh Pant is also playing junior cricket. Bhi khele so he's, been, he's got that uh, reputation of being you know, a, a devastating batsman. He could go after the bowlers. And as Dada rightly said, technically perfect. Hai na, that's going to attract these selectors. 
Absolutely. Moving on from batsman to the bowler of the match, who was a bowler who turned the game on its head. Let's have a look at the bowler of the match. Well, that happens to be Varun Aaron. Just one game in the IPL before the 16 runs is what he conceded. But then this game was given the opening bowling responsibilities and there was a lot in it for the faster bowlers and he made the most out of it. Absolutely. I think all credit to Steve Smith, the yeah. captain who believed in him. Got him back because if you look at Varun Aron's career, he has been a one and a half years he hasn't played cricket. Yes. He's always been injury prone. And yesterday also in the last over, he pulled up. He yes. kind of held his hamstring and said, oh my God. But the point is this, his first overs were devastating. The, the ball that got Chris Lynn out. The point is that he was using the pace and bounce of the Indian wicket, which I think is still the best wicket we have seen in IPL. That's why, you know, the bowlers loved it, the batsmen loved it, and it was a perfect game. At the end of the day, it's the spectators want to win, want to see good matches. Unfortunately, KKR lost and Kolkata were devastated, but that's the way it is. The fact remains that uh, Varun Aron used the conditions perfectly. Just the of the bowling key and his incoming balls were yeah. really very good. The way, the way he was using the seam and he was bowling the right line and length. And that actually gave Rajasthan Royals a head start in this match. Particularly one that got Shubman Gill out, the way it came in. Yeah, also Chris Lynn, because uh, Chris Lynn was out in yeah. the over. So, when he was in the first game, he was saying that he was in the air, he was also in the air. So, what is the opening batsman? If you have to get out of the air, my coach said that the fast bowler ball swing is not going to be out swing or in swing. So, the batsman thought that we played in IPL, we played in the party track, we played in the CDC, what happened? And Chris Lynn, okay, he was an inside edge, and Shubman Gill was also very good. But then, Varun Aaron, good uh, performance uh, in the end. And the best part is that the first four dismissals were in the first four dismissals. In that case, Varun Aaron's hand was the only one. Two wickets were taken, one run-out, and one catch. That was a good impact for a player who was playing the second IPL match in the season. Well, talking about impact, this game did have its impact on the points table. How it gets reflected, we'll have a look. Talking about points table, CSK sitting pretty at the top, Delhi Capital at the second position. Interestingly, they have done better away from home. Mumbai Indians will be playing again today. They are in the third position. RCB are back at the eighth position. Two teams pay especially dhyan deni ki zara te. Kings 11 Punjab. Shurwaad campaign ki kaafi achchi hui thi. Lekin mid-season blues, familiar mid-season blues. Because last season bhi humne dekha tha, ek break hua tha. Uske baad jo unka form tha, wo kaafi kharaab tha. Ye bhi shayad baapas aate vila gara hai. Kyo? Aap kyo Kings 11 ki baat kyo kar raha hai? I think when we started the IPL show, about two and a half weeks ago, the entire table has gone ulta. Yeah. KKR were right on top, teams were right on top. Now you see they are right at the back bottom. Six losses on the trot for KKR is actually speaking um, many things about the team management. They don't have fixed batting order. Shubman Gale should have been opening the innings for a long time back. Mm -hmm. The point is this, you, you have Robin Uthappa sitting in the dugout. Uh, you, and you, know, you don't know where to bat uh, to look for. Very, very, you know, the way that Dhoni handles. Reshuffling the batting order, that means there's some problem with the thinking. Mm -hmm. I mean, let us not forget the contribution of Dinesh Karthik yesterday. Yeah, yes, 97 yes. runs of 50, 50 deliveries. Yes. 9, 6, 7 boundaries. Uske baad bhi team haar gai. Yeah. Wo ek chinta ka vishay. All right, then time for a short break. We'll be right back. You don't go anywhere. DD Sports ने एक अकेले चैनल है काफी पुराना कंपटीशंस रिकॉर्ड कर रही है और रिकॉर्ड्स रखती है एंड मेरा काफी अध्याय एंड मूवमेंट्स है बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट जो DD Sports के साथ इसलिए उन लोगों को मैं बहुत बहुत सुखाने देती हूँ DD Sports को 20 साल की सालगिरह मनाने पर अपने तरफ से और पूरे 130 करोड़ � और धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूँ जय हिंद दीदी स्पोर्ट्स का ट्वेंटी एनिवर्सरी के लिए मेरे तरफ से शुभकामनाएं दे रही हूँ वेलकम बैक क्लैश ऑफ टाइटंस इज व्हाट अवेट्स अस so time now for match preview.
It's Chennai Super Kings that would be hosting the Mumbai Indians. Two of the teams have been strongest, the most dominant in IPL with three titles respectively. Well, let's have a look then at how the two teams have fared against each other overall. Today, they'll be clashing at Chepok Stadium, at the Chepok Stadium. And overall, how this rivalry has been, it would lend extra spice to this clash for, of course, different positions on the table. Stanley Super Kings are at the top. Now, talking about how the two teams have fared against each other, uh, let's have a look. We'll uh, see, uh, as far as the uh, uh, scorecard is concerned, in the previous game, how they did. Now, Mumbai Indians, uh, Chennai Super Kings were riding high on victory uh, momentum, but Mumbai Indians did peg them back a bit, conceding them their first defeat of this IPL campaign. Mumbai Indians winning by 37 runs. Suri Kumar Yadav contributing in that game. Overall, though in this IPL, his contribution has not been as good as it had been in the previous season. Now, these two such teams, which are always said to be the big team of IPL, the Chennai Super Kings from the beginning and 2013 onwards, Mumbai Indians have just marked a resurgence. After that, there are a lot of spicy clashes in both of them. Absolutely. In fact, you have followed European football, which we talk about El Clasico. We talk about El Clasico, where we have Real Madrid and Barcelona matches. They are like the derby games. Tonight is going to be a derby night, like where you play Chennai Super Kings and Rajasthan Mumbai Indians. Or this will be a grudge match for uh, Chennai Super Kings. The fact is, a team like Dhoni's team doesn't like to hate. They hate to lose. It's very simple. But Mumbai are unlike the previous seasons. They are on a high. They're doing yeah. very well. They look very settled. And this will be a clash to watch out for, especially because the two teams are pretty settled. Mm. They know what they're going to do, as we were discussing. Unlike uh, Dinesh Kartik's team, yeah. you score 97. You play those lovely strokes of 50 balls, the kind of strokes he was playing for a short man like him to get those runs. the power. Absolutely. But it doesn't mean this. If you notice, you see that Rahane has made 100 runs and the team has made 97 runs and Kolkata has made. So those 100 runs do not really matter. But yes, if they have to play deep. And this is one match where you will see both the teams wanting to bat deep and it will be a really good cracker of a contest. Talking about batting deep, one man did bat deep and talking about stature as well, he's strongly built, that Shane Watson. What a knock in the previous game. Not a lot of teams would have persisted with him as by his own admission. Yeah, Watson, he's got 243 runs now in IPL with just 150. But then Watson is one player, I now personally feel that he's unpredictable. Yeah. You know, when he can, uh, you know, fall, uh, you know, in the initial overs and you know, sometimes he'll come out with a surprise, big knocks, you know. So, Watson for me is that. But the bigger player is Mahinder Singh Dhoni, you know, who's, who's now with 314 runs. The other batsmen, Raina and Raidu, Duplessis, you know, they're all, you know, averaging well for, for, for uh, the, the, the CSK. As far as the Mumbai Indians are concerned, you know, their batting is like, you know, again, you know, it's a big question mark. Uh, Quinton de Kock uh, scoring well, you know, he's got somewhere around 378 runs. Uh, Surya Kumar Yadav, 243 runs. But the area of concern is Rohit Sharma because he's got a reputation that he can tear any, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, bowling team apart. But he's not clicking. And if the, the opener, especially Rohit Sharma, the captain, if he can lay the foundation for Mumbai Indians, then you can at least thread CSK at their own, you know, in, in their in own the fort in, in, uh, in the Chennai home ground. Talking about laying foundation, Shane Watson did that with Aplom in the previous game. Let's hear into what he had to say. Um, you know, for me to be able to miss out for not score runs for as long as I had throughout this tournament. Um, I know in a previous team that I was in, I'd have been dropped a lot a, a long time ago. So, um, you know, for, for Stephen Fleming and um, MS Stoney in particular to be able to keep the faith um, in me, knowing that um, I had a, had a really good innings in me. Um. Sure, PSL में काफी अच्छा प्रदर्शन किया था, लेकिन यहाँ पे जब विकेट थोड़ी स्लो हो गई, शेन वॉटसन ने स्ट्रगल किया। Absolutely, in fact, इसने शायद ये भी बोला है कि अगर हमारा देश में हम खेलते तो हमको तो अभी तक I should have been sitting out. But the, that, that's that's what we said. It's the consistency, the belief in players that makes that makes CSK stand out from other teams. It's the belief. That is why you you have a captain cool like Dhoni. He is himself performing, or he's got faith or belief in his players that he thinks can deliver. 
that is not true with the other teams like muni said that you know rohit sharma needs to fire it's high time that he needs to kind of thing but what is mumbai indians doing they their middle order is very strong you know sometimes they have won without pollard yeah sometimes there have been matches where pollard has not played right so it's basically a team uh, which is very well matched uh, rohit sharma has to fire if mumbai have to win but the best thing about as you your as your question was shane shane watson is a player as unpredictable but he's got great caliber he's got the experience he can do both with the bat ball and as well as field and we can save 10 runs that's fantastic just the app time then to have a look at how the two teams have fared against each other in the heads to head section well chennai super kings and mumbai indians overall they played 25 matches mumbai indians enjoying the edge there with 14 victories and in fact in the last 7 games mumbai indians have managed to win 5 at chepok or let's have a look at how mumbai indians have managed to play because that has been csk's den for the longest time there too mumbai indians have had the laugh because they have won 4 games and in fact the last time around that any team defeated chennai super kings in their own den was mumbai indians back in 2015 those are all stats isn't it but the story changes each year Absolutely. story changes with the teams uh, run in the tournament but i would like to point out one area which is an area of concern for mumbai indians this time you see in t20 any bowler whose economy rate is below 7 runs and over i feel is considered to be a good bowler now when i look at the stats it's only bumrah and chahar who's deepak chahar's brother the spinner both of them yeah, are averaging true. below 7 6.25 for bumrah 6.61 for chahar but if we look at csk there are four bowlers imran tahir 6.05 deepak chahar under 7 jadeja under 7 bravo under 7 so if you have to threaten a side who's playing at their home ground who's got a strong batting lineup who's got players who are averaging who strike rates are beyond 120 your bowlers need to perform well so let's forget about the past records that's what i wanted to come to mumbai really have to do well with their bowling because even malinga and pandya brothers are averaging over 9 runs and over yeah. that is yeah. an area of concern let's still harp a little on the past records let's have a look at the team stats as far as the two teams are concerned how they have uh, performed overall highest score for csk is 208 mumbai indians 202 expected two teams have flourished with their batting might so lowest score too has been dismal in case of csk 79 mumbai even when they have done badly they managed 141 at least largest victory by runs mumbai indians uh, men managing better runs there 60 or uh, while csk 48 largest victory by wickets nine wickets twice and seven wickets twice in case of mumbai indians hopping further on it uh, player stats when well, most runs for csk suresh raina 715 runs mumbai indians rohit sharma 560 highest runs or uh, that is the highest for suresh raina managing 83 not out to rohit sharma 87 most wickets are for malinga 32 runs or uh, 32 wickets rather ravindra jadeja managing 15 less at malinga that underlines his importance what he has been for mumbai indians over the years best bowling figures again by less at malinga 5 for for just 32 runs uh, uh, dj bravo on the other hand uh, managing 4 442 now there has been a swap bravo is on the side of csk those are again old stats but talking about the conditions in this particular game now for the first four games the wicket did turn viciously but in the fifth game we saw there was plenty on offer for the batsmen this time around how are you expecting it to be i think jab uh, season shuru hua to uske baad wicket utna predictable nahi hota jaise jaise game aage badhte gaye to even csk nahi chahega ki wo turning track bana de kyunki agar toss haar jate hain to unhe pehle khelna padega to mujhe aisa lagta hai ki jo initial season jab shuru hua ipl ka tab wicket thoda kharab tha lekin acche game ke liye aur agar aap itne bade game ki baat kar रहे हो तो आप विकेट पाटा ही बनाना चाहोगे और एक स्टार्ट में देख रहा था लसित मलिंगा का आपने दिखाया कि 32 विकेट उन्होंने लिए लेकिन इस सीजन अभी तक उन्होंने आठ विकेट्स लिए तो बड़े प्लेयर्स नामी प्लेयर्स बड़े गेम में उनको आके एक इम्पैक्ट डालना होगा विकेट जैसा मर्जी खेले talking about bade player nami player rohit sharma in conversation with zahir khan that would make for an interesting conversation let's hear into it are all uh, ready and preparing for our next uh, encounter against csk but before that i've got a special guest on captain's corner today mr zahir khan uh 
director of Mumbai uh, Indians, uh, Jack, welcome to Captain's Corner. I see you've been having great fun in the segment Captain's Corner. The squad uh, which we have is just super. We've just covered all the bases, and uh, and it's, it's exciting to see so many uh, good players. You know, uh, right throughout the season, waiting for that one chance uh, to, be, uh, to be given to them. CSK game uh, at at one K day for us, uh, it was a clear indication of absorbing pressure and uh, having that belief to uh, see the team through. You know, it's about individuals stepping up in in certain situations and and bailing the team out. You know, that's what uh, the game is all about. We are approaching this game as. Any other game. Once we step on to the field, it's all about going and executing. And I think so far this season we've been executing. From the looks of it, all positive, but Mumbai Indians are coming back after a six day layoff. Such breaks uh, at times prove to be double edged sword. Not really. In fact, uh, these cricketers play so much of uh, matches throughout the year, especially in this time time of the year. There's so much of heat, and Chennai is a very very warm place, warm and humid. So I think that these breaks actually help. If you if you notice that you know uh, RCB came off after yeah, a break, off. and you know they call, kind of got their acts together, they put their minds together, and it really helps. And this kind of cricket that these uh, teams are playing, going from one city to another, don't. Uh, you've seen pictures of Dhoni sleeping on the floor yeah. in the airport. So this is life. This is IPL life. So the point is, is I think this break will do them good. And as you know, as you saw in the previous video, Rohit Sharma did not have Mahila Jaiwar then. He had Zahir Khan. Yeah. So that's as as he rightly said. It's going to be how the bowlers play their role mm -hmm. on this wicket, no matter what. Yes, I mean there could be runs in those wickets, but it's how the bowlers will deliver. All the stats we have seen about uh, Malinga and Jadeja, uh, Bravo, will actually count for nothing. In this 20-hour match, you have to be on the ball, you have to be on your money, and get your act together. And before you can, before you know that you've not done anything right, the match is over. Absolutely. Well, Mumbaiians would want momentum to be on their side. Talking about momentum, let's have a look at the players who've been high, riding high on momentum. These are our men in form. Well, uh, first of all, the batsman, Quentin Dekor from Mumbai Indians, has been opening the innings. He's been impressive with an average of 37.80, striking at 137. MS Dhoni, two of his innings, particularly one against Rajasthan Royals, uh, he has been again leading the run chart. Suresh Raina, uh, he does not play much of domestic cricket, but when he comes back to the IPL, he plays like he owns it. Suri Kumar Yadav was extremely impressive last season, this time around with strike rate, maybe not so impressive, but has managed the average of 24.30. 16 wickets. Uh, Deepak Chahal uh, is also there featuring Jaspreet Bumra, Harbhajan Singh and Rahul Chahal. Now the two Chahal brothers featuring in that chart. Uh, Rahul Singh Bhunani ki koshish. जी हाँ और बड़े-बड़े विकेट्स ले रहे हैं और पिछला मैच जो राजस्थान रॉयल्स के खिलाफ के लिए स्टीव स्मिथ को उन्होंने थोड़ा सा चकाया था तो वो कॉन्फिडेंस बिल्डअप करता है और दोनों भाई आपस में भिड़ेंगे मैं जानता हूँ मेरे भाई जब मेरे साथ खेल रहे थे तो एक राइवलरी वो अंदर हो जाती तो भाई भूल जाते हैं कि मेरा भाई है और ये ये फैक्ट है लेकिन आपने जो बैटिंग का चार्ट लिखा है उसमें एक नाम अभी भी मिसिंग है और वो है रोहित शर्मा पिछला गेम जो राजस्थान से खेले पांच रन बनाए थे फिर मैं एक बारी कहूंगा कि बैटिंग जो है मुंबई की वहां पे उन्हें बेहतर करना पड़ेगा यू कॉन्ट रिलाय ऑन पांड्या एंड पोलार्ड इन द मिडल ऑर्डर थ्रू आउट द फर्स्ट फोर बैट्समैन सूर्य कुमार यादव की आपने बात की क्विंटन डिकॉक रन में है बट यू वांट रोहित शर्मा टू कम एंड प्ले बिकॉज यू नो कि वो दसवें या ग्यारहवें ओवर में टीम का जो सौ रन का जो आंकड़ा है ना वहां पर वो पहुंचा देते हैं सो आई वुड वॉन्ट हिम टू क्लिक टूडे Absolutely. Time now for a short break. On our way out, we bring you how CSK blend fun and training in their practice sessions.
डीडी स्पोर्ट्स ने एक अकेला चैनल है काफी पुराना कॉम्पिटिशन रिकॉर्ड कर रही है और रिकॉर्ड्स रखती है एंड मेरा काफी अदाई एंड मूवमेंट्स है बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट जो डीडी स्पोर्ट्स के साथ इसलिए उन लोगों को मैं बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं देती हूँ डीडी स्पोर्ट्स को 20 साल के सालगिरह मनाने पर अपने तरफ से और पूरे 130 करोड़ देशवासियों की तरफ से बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया Welcome back. Let's have a look at how the Indian Premier League has taken the social media by storm. Well, the buzz is pretty evident. Let's have a look at the tweets which stood out because of their wittiness, at how remarkable rather they were. There were some very interesting tweets. Gs Vivek had to say, so it took one knock from Rishabh Pant one night to make everyone feel how unlucky he was. But then came Dinesh Karthik's knock. What a stellar knock it was! How well calculated, well judged. Omang Pabari had to say, Aras win at Eden Gardens and IPL 2008 and then 2019. It took them long time, maybe 11 years challenge, to then defeat KKR. Once again, Mohandas Menon. Well, in his stats, he says that 17 years, 166 days, he missed a fifty yet again. He missed one against Mumbai Indians as well. And again, being the youngest to hit an IPL fifty, he did not manage to be that. Mel M J Jones says, uh, regardless of the result tonight, Ryan Parag. Well, in particular, as far as the KKR bowlers are concerned, uh, bowlers from other seven sides have already managed to do so. And now, let's have a look at the image of the day. Well then, all smiles. Shyam Parag along along with Varun Aaron, both of them really standing out with bat and ball respectively, making a huge difference in that particular game. They have every reason to smile, smiling ear to ear in that particular image. Now then, quickly talking about today's game, your predictions, what are your expectations from it? I think Chennai Super Kings will start uh, favourites at their hometown, but uh, Mumbai Indians having won the last match. Will have a lot of confidence, as you rightly said, that they are coming after a break, and they will be really, really recharged. And I think uh, CSK will still have the edge. How about you? Well, then, uh, if I remember the last game, first seven overs, Mumbai used six bowlers, so they need to get things right here. And to beat CSK in their home fort, they need to come out with some extraordinary performances. And who else but the captain? Hoping to, you know, to see Rohit Sharma click. Promises for an enticing encounter. Thanks a lot, gentlemen, for your time here. That's all we have time for here on the show. Thanks a lot for your company as well. We'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, it's goodbye and take care from the entire team.